Ahoy there, me hearties. This be Captain Silver Hook, and you're listening to the Two Old Pirates Podcast. Set sail for an open sea of stories, tales, and some really crazy stuff. I expect you to like and subscribe, lest you be walking the plank. Ha <laughs> ha Welcome to uh, Podcast 36. Vinny's back. Uh, and, uh, we hope to get these podcasts out a little bit quicker. Uh, uh, so we thought that we'd do a real quick one. Uh, we uh, we want to go ahead and cover just random uh, brainstorming, crazy, fun stuff. And then after that, Vinny is going to go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, an older computer system, mm-hmm. a, video, a video game system. Computer system. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I do podcasts. That's what I do. I think of ways of getting... No doubt off the radio. I tell jokes most people don't laugh at. So what? <laughs> see? And I've, and I've also been asked. Somebody sent me a couple messages now since we've done this. Uh, I do have more than one white shirt. And I just love the Celtics, so I'm always wearing the hat. But some people are like, you're always wearing a white shirt and the Celtics hat. So I'm thinking it's going to be like Angus Young with ACDC, his school uniform. Yeah, this, is always, always, this is always going to be. Wear it. Uh, didn't, so, didn't didn't somebody also ask if I ever pull my hair back? Yes. You yes. know what? Here, here. Just just for that person, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll pull it back this episode. <laughs> there. This is this is Vinny. Whoa. Vinny. Whoa. Vinny. Whoa. 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 Hey. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. That's what I look like with my hair pulled back. There you go. All right. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna ask uh, Vinny like a, a topic. And he's going to answer as quick as he can. And we're going to try to do it kind of silly and kind of fun. So you guys can have a good laugh. All right, Vinny. All right. Can you name five ice cream flavors that you don't like? Okay. Uh, it's a little bit easier than I think you made. Oh, we're going to build up. We're going to build, okay, build up. up. Uh, I, I don't like like strawberry cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Any of those. Don't, doesn't matter the brand. I don't like fish food. I don't like Ben and Jerry's fish food. Never P-H-I. heard of it. It's named after the band. Um, I don't like Ben and Jerry's uh, Cherry Garcia, the Grateful Dead tribute one. I don't like that because it's, it's too much cherry. I don't like uh, cookie dough because mm-hmm. uh, usually whenever you get like a nugget of something, like if it's a piece of chocolate or, or whatever, you're usually like, yeah. But when you bite into the cookie dough, it has like a grittier texture than the ice cream and it's just... It, no, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say um, I've never been big on just strawberry. Actually, you know what? Since I already said strawberry cheesecake, I'll just say coffee. I, I hate coffee ice cream. I hate it. It Coffee's is dis- it is favorite. disgusting. Coffee and pistachio almond. Those are my two favorites. Pistachio is okay. I, I think if if mm-hmm. if somebody offered me ice cream and they said they had pistachio, I'd be like, yeah, I'll take some. But if they offered me ice cream and said they had only had coffee flavor, I'd be like. Hey, I have to leave your house. I'm gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Whew, look at the time, man. I gotta go. <laughs> you know, that's, All right, that's so right. he got those five out pretty quick. Yeah. But like I said, he thought that that was kind of easy. So maybe I'll amp it up in a little bit. All right, okay. I got one for you. So we'll keep it. We'll keep with the fast five. Uh, five television shows, aside from Grey's Anatomy, aside from Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> that uh, you you just could not care any less about. That uh, yeah, that's easy. Uh, I've never watched an episode of The Bachelor or okay. The Bachelorette. Oh, but th- you can't I, count. That's one thing. That's one show. Okay. The only difference is a penis. Come I on. never, I never watched any episodes of Jersey Shore. Okay. I've never watched any episodes of Sixteen and Pregnant. I never, basically anything off of MTV. Uh, Survivor. Never okay. seen Survivor. Never wanted to see Survivor. Uh, I'm starting uh, to see a pattern with the shows you've named. Uh, yeah, I don't like reality. Yeah, okay. I never, uh, never watched The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, I never watched. Um, w- w- what's the show? Family Matters. Yeah, with Urkel. I ne- yeah, I never Can watched. I, do I, that? I never watched Full House or the remake of Full House. Oh, the uh, all, all those. I, I went beyond the five, but yeah, those are all things that you you couldn't pay me to watch those shows. I just they're they're a waste to me. They're stupid. 
uh, there's no point to it. I mean, I like cheese or whatever. I mean, I've seen memes of this guy. I'm like, how was that interesting? How did it make it past one season? I don't understand. He Fuller gets, House, can't you guys get a job and afford more than one house? So then I, I mean, Jesus, you're not like refugees coming from another country you know, or something. No, but it is Bob Saget. And Dave Couillet lo substantially lowers the property value of any, of any house he inhabits. Um, can you name... Uh, five types of animals that you love that, that you really like animals yeah that you don't because we, we always go with these negative did you hate this did you hate it five animals that are just like your top five animals that you like I love dolphins I love dolphins uh, I like river otters because they're, they're they're cute yeah I like ferrets because they're like a mix between cats and snakes I guess they're, they're <laughs> They're just amusing. That's what I are am we, to you. Are, are, are we counting dinosaurs? I'm a hairy snake here. We, are we counting dinosaurs too? No, if, no I, they're extinct. They, okay, so you nothing have to be extinct. Something you okay, see. something you can still see. Um, I like horses. I, 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 when they're calm, not when they're fucking... Not, not, yeah, not when they're going absolutely insane, because horses kind of scare me, but like, like objectively... Have you ever like, ridden a horse? Yes, okay. when I was a little kid. But objectively, I, was I that think, like at a birthday or something? Yeah. No, I'm talking about riding a horse, like out. No. Okay. No. So, like, objectively, I like pictures of horses. <laughs> I like paintings of them, but I don't like being around them because they they kind of scare me. Uh, and I, I guess I'd, I'd probably I'd probably have to say probably like alligators because I really I really like alligators more than crocodiles. Crocodiles have that weird snaggle tooth. Okay. Five impersonations of five different people. Do, do, do impersonations of five different right. people. So five different people. Yes. Want me to do five. Yes. I want kind you to like... walk into that <laughs> okay, right so now. Got so you got yeah, so... okay, Christopher Walken. That's number one. Ding. Number two. I do a lot of impressions of people. I got a tremendous, a tremendous amount in my repertoire. I know a lot of great people. I'm able to do lots of different voices. You know, I used to do voice acting for cartoons, tremendous cartoons, cartoons that thousands, millions of people even watched. Are I they, the biggest are they cartoons. huge? These Sorry. cartoons are huge. Okay. They're big. Donald They're Trump. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get him to say huge. Uh, <laughs> good morning. How are you? First, I'd like to get to know you. I'm Detective John Kimball. I'm a cop, you idiot. Who That's is your daddy? Eddie. And what I does he do? <laughs> It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Okay, that's Schwarzenegger. That's yeah, number three. Of course. Of course. Um, let's see, what well, I've done walking. I've done Schwarzenegger. Um, Glenn Quagmire? No, it's not Glenn Quagmire, but. That sounds like. <laughs> I mean. Hey, Barney. <laughs> it's his friend. It's his friend. <laughs> friend. Hey, I got your fruity pebbles, Fred. I'm telling you, I don't understand why you're always over my house. I'm With just Dino and Bam Bam. <laughs> if these ain't your pebbles, I don't know who's I've got. Oh shit! Hey, boo boo. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go in the woods, boo boo. There's, there's. Um... I don't think we should, Yogi. <laughs> so it's. Hey, Paul. Why do we even let Ringo in the band? Oh, you're doing some Beatles there. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't understand. R Pete Best was all right, but then we bring Ringo. Yeah. Well, I don't know, John. Uh, what else you got? That's Can you do Obama? I understand that we as a country need to band together uh, as a people under one flag, one country. In this time of need, it's important that you wear your mask, stay six feet apart from one another, and follow all CDC guidelines. And we'll be able to get through this, get over this, Get America back on track. Thank you. Get <laughs> Sorry. Excuse you. Did you do JFK? Uh, well, that's like... We, Ask not we, what we your do, country can do for you. We do or what these you things. can do for your country. We choose to do these things and go to the moon and the other things like that. Not because it's hard, but because we can. Or something, one of those phrases. Are we going to the bar later? Are we go in the car? <laughs> going to the bar in the and car. And passing out in the yard. Yes, I know a good place in Dallas we can get something to drink. Oh, after that <laughs> hurt my head just thinking about it. <laughs> what, are, what are four types of people that you just, personalities that you don't like? Uh, I don't like people that compulsively take pictures of all the food they eat and post it to like Instagram. 
I guess that's just an, an extent. <laughs> you don't do that. I don't see you posting. I don't see you going to like friggin' Taco Bell being like, dude, just got the Chalupa got Supreme. <laughs> I don't like people that, uh, that live vicariously through like their dogs or their pets. They're like, oh, he's my fur baby. Yeah, I don't like it when they call them children. Like, yeah, these are my fur children. That's and I'm creepy. all like, fur it's... baby? If you, why did you invest in a, in a baby that's going to die in eight to ten years? I mean, Jesus. I mean, I don't mean to sound so grim. Jesus but, lived a little longer than we, eight to ten. But dogs, on average, live eight to ten years. Sometimes they get lucky and live 12, 13, 14 years. But the thing is, that still means that you're having a teenager die. Yeah. Your fur child is dying at, uh, at 13 or 14. Uh, you have a real one. They live a lot longer. They go to college. They give you grandchildren, not puppies. Yeah, but you can't you can't feed a human baby Alpo. <laughs> you got to buy no. you got to buy Infamil. That's physically expensive. you could. <laughs> you could. No, it might not survive. <laughs> the CPS might have something. You might to say be arrested, <laughs> but don't say you couldn't do that. You could do that. That's a possibility. So. He's a dad. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, no, I never I fed. Him dog food i would never feed dog food to a child that's just disgusting cat uh, food is much more moist i would say another type of person i <laughs> the type of person <laughs> cat food is more moist yeah, these days but if people want to like star wars i don't have a problem with that i don't like it but i'm not the type of person who's going to just go out and just just bad mouth people like star wars and the people who like it just because like i'm not going to start a youtube channel being like I don't like Star Wars. I'm not going to do that. Like it's... I would do that for Grey's Anatomy though. <laughs> and Gwen so... Stefani. Those two things right there, I just, I would, you know how they have like the March of Dimes. Well, I'm just a girl. Uh, you know, just doing, just doing stuff to help the world. And I think my place in the world besides teaching is also trying to get Grey's Anatomy canceled and never be in syndication. All DVDs are confiscated. Uh, and um, you should run for it, office. It's just, you should be president. It, it just, just wipe from the. And then Gwen Stefani should just. Is was she born be here? Tragically was, kicked in the was, throat. <laughs> I was gonna say, was Gwen Stefani? Is she a legal there was resident? A, uh, to kick her out. There's an accident on the new karate movie, and Gwen Stefani unfortunately was kicked in the throat and her vocal cords. So she's never gonna sing again, which brings peace to Eric the Wolf. Every time she talks, she sounds like Peter from the Brady Bunch when he's going through puberty. <laughs> Hey guys, I don't know understand. It's time to change. <laughs> I'm just a girl. It's just not working. I can't hit the pitch. Yes. <laughs> but the bad thing is there's the videos and the CDs yeah. and it's and already been out there. Auto-tune. There's so a, I, I can't, you know, erase people's memories. So so since you hate No Doubt and Gwen oh, Stefani. There's so no much. doubt. I hate no doubt. <laughs> since 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 you have such uh, a hatred for them. Yes. What what are are there are there five other bands that that you dislike their music? Led Zeppelin. Okay. Number one, Led Zeppelin. I, I hate Led Zeppelin. I don't own. I've never owned a song from them. Never owned an album. You could give me a free CD and I would use it as a coaster or something. <laughs> I, I I I hate Led Zeppelin. Um, who else do I hate with a passion? I hate modern rap. I don't like rap as it is, but I hate, I hate rap, um, just because it's just they they literally can't get through the point of a song without having to cuss, talking about drugs, talking about hitting your chick, uh, or the, the bracelets or the watches that they have with diamonds on it. Every song, single, and it's all auto tuned. There's no production. It's just bullshit. You need to listen to some Viper. <clears throat> Uh, what else have I never liked? I never liked Rush, yeah. the band Rush, which, you know, these are big bands that sold millions yeah, of no, records. That's, hey. Don't like Rush. I never liked Rush. Never owned an album by Rush. Don't like Rush. Um, I don't like today's modern country. Um, you know, I, I grew up with Kenny Rogers and, you know, maybe Reba McIntyre, yeah. George Jones and stuff. And Marty, today's, Marty Robbins. Yeah, today's country is just a bunch of preppy looking white guys that they they have a little bit of twang so i'm i never like rage against the machine yeah i thought they're... they were just too abrasive and they're just bitching about stuff i always found it i always found it strange that they're like rage against the machine but i'm like dude you're signed you're to a major, part of the machine yeah you're yeah. signed to a major label like i'm sorry what but um, i'm gonna say that and tom morello is gonna come kick my ass so. uh, this might offend some people i, I never like Soundgarden. 
Um, I don't own any of their music. I never liked Alice in Chains. I don't own any of their music. Um, the Eagles. Never liked the Eagles. I yeah. Hotel I don't know why. They, to me, it was just soft country. It was just like country pop. That was all it was. You're lying eyes. I mean, come on, man. This is just country. Stop yeah, this Isn't stuff. the Eagles' greatest hits the best-selling album of yes. all time? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that sucks. Everybody has to have that. I don't own it. Do you own it? Nope. Nope. See, there you go. Sounds, like, ne- sounds I, like a flop to us. I've never bought an Eagles album or a cassette when that used to be the thing. I don't listen to them when they're on the radio. If it comes on, I change it. Yeah, I hate Hotel California. I, uh, I can't oh, yeah. It. That's one of the most overplayed yeah. songs ever. There's so many people that if they get put on a spot like that, they'll just be like, American? I've heard of American. No, yeah. Now, American I don't want you to come in with like, I like a... From the Italian region of Genovese. Or something. I'm all like, nobody's ever heard of that. You're like, I know. Those are, when you're talking about people that you don't like, yeah. those are the people that yeah. I don't like. They, they just have to be different. Like, oh, you're drinking water? I drink uh, this rare Icelandic water. It actually comes out of a polar bear's ass. <laughs> and that's, you know, then it hits the rocks and goes through the rocks. And the rocks filter out all the, and it's what I call reverse polar bear osmosis and uh and then they bottle it right there by a nordic guy named sven and then they sell it to me for 19.99 a bottle (laughs) and the ph balance is just perfect they have somebody i'm like i hate you they have somebody who stands under a polar bear with the fucking with the no 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 it comes brita filter he pisses it out (laughs) into the brita i'm sorry it's not his ass he pisses it out and it hits the volcanic rocks here because you know there's a lot of volcanoes in iceland and that's what filters out the urine from the water and then it's pure glacial polar bear piss water (laughs) and uh then they also eat almonds that are extremely rare that are only found under bigfoot's one tree that he lives at (laughs) And uh, those cost about $25 a, a bag. So between the Bigfoot almonds <laughs> and the, the uh, polar bear piss water, I'm better than you. I like I'm gonna that. Go, I'm going to go get in my 1987 Saab <laughs> I like that you're, and drive away. Your implied food snob knows where Bigfoot lives. Hasn't bothered to get any photographic evidence. They just want the almonds. I have it. Oh, that, this person? Yeah, this, they this, have a deal yeah. with Bigfoot. Yeah, see, they He keeps a, making the almonds. He has a special way that he rubs the tree. <laughs> He rubs the tree a special way, and the tree makes these special almonds, all right? That might be a euphemism, I think. Well, it's a big tree. It's more like a hug. So, So I... (laughs) Question. Okay. Which is more fake? A werewolf or a chupacabra? More fake? Which one is more unrealistic? A werewolf. Why? Because people don't turn into wolves. Both of them are. Both are, are fake. Bo- both are fake. Both are fake, but there You could are... see a chupacabra living? Something that's never been found? No, but I could see somebody believing in that because like a coyote attacks their cows or something like that in the middle of the night. And they howl or they make a weird screeching noise. People are like, oh, it's a chupacabra. Have you ever heard one of these screeching noises? No. It's usually how I sound after I see Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but like, so like somebody who wakes up, like, like a farmer that wakes up in the, in the next morning and one of their cows has been mauled and eaten and stuff like that. And then, oh, it happened to the guy, you know. You're really down. going into detail. Well, no, but I could see, like, I could see somebody believing in a chupacabra based on the fact that, like, their cows are mauled. But I don't see anybody being like, oh, yeah, this. Why couldn't that have been a werewolf mauling it? (laughs) Because I don't think, because human beings don't turn into werewolf. It's not like that American werewolf. Oh, but see, that's that's all, you know, those are, you know, centuries of people saying humans. Can't we just have a werewolf without it being. Is that, well, uh, no, a a werewolf specifically implies. A a lichen? Yeah. Doesn't always have to be a human. Lichen, no, you watched Underworld too many times. Lycanthropy, a werewolf is specifically, according to mythology, it is a person who transforms into right. a wolf it, under a full moon. I think moon. the first time it was like really be killed with the was silver in a French arrow. book in the 1500s or something. So we've only had them for 500 <laughs> years. <laughs> we've only known about them for 500 years. So something was out there grazing amongst the yeah. things. The Jesus could have been a werewolf. It could have been know. a crazy guy. Maybe a hairy, like... Like the Wolfman? No, with, uh, like really. You've seen the guys from like Albania and stuff. They've got hair everywhere. Yeah, I mean, her sweet is what it's called. And it looks like you know they're wearing a sweater when they're swimming and stuff. What are what are five video games that you think you've spent the most time playing throughout your life? Like when I was a kid with the quarter. 
which, uh, as just as a kid, like in the arcades, or just games that maybe you continue to play to this day? Oh, uh, when I was a kid, Galaga was number one. All right. Uh, at, at, to this day, if I find an old Galaga game somewhere, I set the high score. Uh, I'm not tooting my own horn. I just it happens to be my game. I have my own. I, I do uh, that too. And, Shaolin's uh, Road. Uh, where, wherever I go, if it's in Houston, I see one set somewhere. I, I take out one quarter. I'll set the high score and, and you leave. Get that, you get that double ship going, man. You knock out all them challenge uh, rounds. I played a lot of Space Invaders. Yeah. Uh, I played a lot of Missile Command. Uh, Joust. I hated Joust. Oh, yeah, Joust. Oh, I, yeah. After a while, I'd start losing at yeah. it. So what what are what are three things that are like your your top pet peeves? I don't like fake uh, religious people that um, act like they worship uh, what they worship, and then uh, they hurt other people emotionally or physically, mm. or they're just out and out uh, dishonest and, and hypocritical. Uh, I don't like hypocrites. I don't like people that sit there and say, don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs, and then they go home and they do all those things. Um, I, I, I think people should be who they are. Um, and uh, another type of person I don't like is somebody um, um, that can't be loyal, uh, that um, doesn't, uh, they're selfish, and so uh, their every motive is, what's, what, what am I going to get? What's in it for me? It's very, they, it's very sociopathic. Yeah, they, they, they might not be saying it outwardly, and you might not be able to pick up on it all the time, but if you ever look back in, in, in history with certain people, you'll see that they always did something along the way that was going to benefit them. Mm -hmm. And it might benefit you in the short term if you're around them, but in the long term it was always about something about them and making them happy. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's I think that's that's the worst of what I remember. I remember, and this is so short that it's not going to be like one of Eric's true stories. But I remember um, there were some woods that were over by the house that I, when I that I grew up in over in South Rockport at the Mexican Park. And if you went through the trails in the woods, Chupacabra it, was there. It would lead to the highway, Highway Thirty Five, and we went next door and asked where my next door neighbor was, and his name was Nino. And uh, they said he's over in the woods. And so me and my, whoever I was with, I don't even remember who I was with, we're probably about 13 or 14. We go through the woods and we hear, get that one, get that one, get that one. I'm like, what's going on, man? So we creep up and Nino is sitting there with a BB gun. Is he the dude that was trying to shoot you with? Yeah, yeah. That's him and him and Rick are the same ones who shot me in the back on the previous episode of True Stories. So if you want to look that one up, they, picked, they, shooting, they picked other targets. They were shooting at cars. <laughs> so ca cars that were coming down Highway 35 at 45 miles an hour. They were sitting there, and there as soon as the car would come in, I kind of felt like I was a a ghost watching Oswald shoot at Kennedy or something because they're, the cars were coming right at them, and they're like. Dude, right in the windshield, man, and then pop, and you'd sit there and see it hit the windshield, or you'd see it hit the uh, one of the one of the front. Was I'm it cracking all... windows? Uh, or... it was, they were going 45. I, I know they, well, it like, might have cracked. It, it, it did. So it, that it means... wasn't a gun, so it wasn't like it no, it wasn't a gun, but that, that, that could have easily. Means, yeah. Like in terms of physics, that yes. means the glass is moving 45 miles an hour, right. and whatever the, the speed. It, yeah, I'm of sure the... it did damage, but I mean, yeah. they, they we'd hear honks. Uh, this is way back in the early 80s, we, so a lot of people didn't have, you know, they were driving around with their windows down and stuff. And so, you know, we heard like, mother F for this, mother. So I'm sure it did damage or something. You know? Oh, yeah. People but I'm all like, what are like you guys that? doing? And then they're like, oh, we just target practice. So you guys jump on plastic. Yes. In my neighborhood, <laughs> people were shooting at cars coming up. And the thing is, well, you were in the woods. You were literally a sniper. Nobody could find you. I remember... Well, another story from the Mexican part. Uh, there's many stories. Uh, the same two. Oh. Uh, Public enemies number one and two. We were probably around twelve or thirteen, and uh, I went down to Rick's house because that's where Nina was, and so me and another friend walked down there. It's probably you know, hundred and fifty yards. We get down there, and I'm like, "What are you guys doing?" They're in the garage, and they had sawed a wooden broom handle. <laughs> In half and they had got some electric black electric tape and they had uh, a, nails about this long big big Holy nails shit. and they took a 
D battery and they put it on the end of where they had cut off the stick. So you have your stick and at the end you have a battery. And then on either side of the battery they put those big nails and then they taped it. I'll never forget that. <laughs> and I'm sitting there doing... They made a cattle prod? And they're like, I was like, what are you doing? And they're like, we're going to form a gang. And I was all like, who? And they're like, the two of us, you want in? And I'm all like, what are we going to do? They're like, we need to protect this neighborhood. <laughs> and I was all, what's that? And they're like, this is our weapon. And I was all, a D battery? <laughs> half of a... <laughs> Half of a broomstick and two large nails. As all, how's that gonna? Who are we fighting off? And they're like anybody who comes in our neighborhood. They're like serious. I don't know if they had watched that movie, The Warriors or something. But I was all like, "Are you gonna get in trouble?" And they're like, "Why?" And I was all like, well, "Where'd you get the batteries?" They're like, "We took them from inside the house." And I was like, "Where'd you get the broom?" They're like, "It's my mom's." I was all like, "I'm not being in your game." <laughs> You're about to get your butts with with that thing you just built. Yeah, yeah. So I went, uh, I went back home and stuff. And but they, I remember that day. That was their gang that they were going to form. <laughs> a piece of wood about this long, with a D battery at the end, and nails on the other on each side of it, taped with a lot of black electric. Hey, tape. you get poked so that. Can, that is a volt and a half of power right there, baby. Never saw it again, <laughs> and it's always been there in my head since I was, you know, all those years. You know, I was about. 12 probably it's always been there that, that they, sounds like the type of crappy item you could build in the game dead rising and, right and anybody knows anything knows that black electric tape doesn't really hold it, it it's no a, it's more stretchy than anything yeah so i i'm pretty sure that if they went up to someone they went like this the nails would just push straight back <laughs> and they would mostly get a d battery impression did you just poke me with the, the battery what, what what are you doing what's man? the matter with you so yeah, that, I, there's there's plenty of stories. I should just do an entire podcast. You could, you should. Just I would, I would listen part. to that. I would, I would just sit here and just. Well, since since we've uh, since we've been talking about random things for a while, I did bring something with me. You guys know that I always like to share a little bit of my knowledge about classic video games with you, and uh, I've got something I can I can talk about for a few minutes real quick yeah. if you're cool with that. So uh, what I have with me today, I know that we have folks that listen, so I'm also going to describe it as well. So if you're just listening, you, you got it. Holding a Sony PlayStation 1. But this is the original, just big gray box model PS1 that I'm holding with the disc tray, you know, with the button you click that opens up. I mean, uh, Sony's second ever video game console. If you count the one that they tried to make with Nintendo that Nintendo got cold feet on. Um, but this is a very special model of the original PS1. This is the first first version, the first iteration of the Model 1. The Model 2 PS2, or P the Model 2 PS1 was the, the white one, the little tiny white one. Uh, that's Model 2. This is a Model 1, and this is one of the first ones made. And I can tell you that because if you look on the back of the PlayStation, I'll show you that. You have your random things here for, uh, you know, your power, your AV out. There's a serial port there, which is uh, used for, um, that was actually used for on development consoles. And I really don't know what it's used for on the consumer level. But what's important is that there's this thing right here on the back uh, right corner for your parallel I.O. Okay, so, um, but then what's important to note on this specific model, and this is for, again, uh, the version one of model one, is back here on the back right corner, you have this little door that covers up your parallel I.O. port. Um, what this is, if I can pop a little door off here, it's just a little spring door, you can see there's a, a place you can plug things into. Now, this is just an expansion bay for the console. Uh, and if you have a PS1 at home, check it out. Flip it over on the, on the, on the, on the back side. Look on the, well, I guess it's the, that'd be the, it's on the back right corner, but if you flip it over backwards, it's going to be on the left. And it says Parallel I.O. Uh, and there should be a little door covering it, or maybe the door fell off. What does the I.O. stand for? Input output. So this is actually an expansion bay, uh, which was not uncommon at the time. Uh, the uh, Super Nintendo has a, a similar style port on its, on its underside that was used uh, for the Satellaview, which was a special connection that was only in Japan that was essentially uh, a satellite receiver where you could download games, uh, special versions of games, into your Super Nintendo and play them. Uh, there was also a, a, a similar port on the bottom of the N64 
that was used for the Nintendo Disk Drive or DD system, which was released in Japan, that accepted, instead of the cartridges on top, it accepted the high density like Zip Omega disks that had dozens or hundreds of megabytes on the, on the disk. Um, and that was Japan only. It was a commercial failure. And then uh, your Sega consoles... Just like World War II. <laughs> your uh, your uh, Sega consoles, uh, depending on what model you had, you either had an expansion port on the side or one on the bottom where you could attach your Sega CD. right? And then the Sega Saturn, even though that was a disc-based console as well, the Sega Saturn had a cartridge slot on top uh, that would allow, like certain games required ex memory expansion and other things. So expansion ports were nothing new to consoles. So the PlayStation 1 has one as well, the parallel I.O. port. And uh, Sony never really used this for anything, but a lot of third parties did. So here's something cool about what you can do with this parallel I.O. port if your system has one. So you notice that it's a thing you can plug stuff into and many devices were released just like the one I'm holding right here. This looks like a little Game Boy cartridge and it's called the Gold Finger. And uh, essentially what it is, is you notice it has a plug on the front right here. And <laughs> not that kind of finger. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love gold. <laughs> it's good. Is that still relevant? The smell and of then... it, the taste of it, the texture. And then on the Bomb back. The blitz, <laughs> pipe in a crate. <laughs> I need to stop eating my own skin. I'm going to. <laughs> It's one of the worst Austin Power movies, but it's good. Uh, and then, so, and then on the back, you've got uh, a standard uh, uh, a printer I/O port or a parallel I/O port for connecting to a computer. Some of these supported connecting to a Windows 95, Windows 98 system. So what this does is it plugs into the back of uh, your system where the I.O. port is. And now, if you look at the system, you have your PlayStation 1 and a little thing poking up out of the back. And you might now, be saying... Now, this is a game, right? This is not a game. What is it for? So, that's I'm glad you asked. So now, you've got this thing plugged into your system. What does it do? This interrupts the boot process. And that's important because let's say, you know, this is a North American system. Let's say you imported a game from Japan of your favorite anime that was never released here, and you want to play it. They made a great Dragon Ball Z fighting game, and, but you can't play it because it was never released here. So if you try to put your Japanese copy into this system, it will not play because this is a North American system, and it will read the region code on the disc, mm -hmm. and it will say, Japanese game, not the right system, not going to play. So what this does is it interrupts the boot process. So what you do is you open the, the tray, you put in an American game, North American game, close it, power it on, and then the disc will spin up. The system will read the region code and say, oh, okay, North American game, whatever. And then this will stop it. And then what you do, pop the disc tray open while the system is on, your disc is no longer spinning. You take it out, take your Japanese game, plop it in there, close it, and then you press the button on the menu that's on the screen so, so that the system continues. The gold finger tells the system to start reading the disc. And the PlayStation's like, oh yeah, we've already done the yeah, disc. Yeah, we've already read the yeah, we've already, so we're, we're yeah. ready to go. And then boom. They just got, load the game. You got your Japanese game. So it was a great way to play import games. And this is just one of many devices. I have a... Why would you need more than one? I just collect this kind of crap. Oh. <laughs> you really only need one. Uh, and this was not something like these days where consoles get updated to the internet. They would easily patch this out. But back then, this was a hardware issue. So as long as you had one of these little dongles... Like the Goldfinger or the Game Hunter, They're which is a this dongle? one. Well, yeah, that's the that's the generic term. It's just a it dongle. Sounds like... It sounds a little sexual, but yeah. it's just yeah, it's just a dongle. Uh, so this is the Goldfinger. This is the Last Game Hunter. Last night was long. My and... dongles. <laughs> my dongles so sore. And they, they and they both really achieve the same thing. In fact, if you flip this one over, there's still a there's still an I/O port for your computer. Do they make bigger dongles? <laughs> well, they did make a pretty big one that plays Game Boy games on your PlayStation. It's dumb, but it... And they have it, different color dongles. And they have different color dongles, too. They got the orange one, they got the gray how one. How long do dongles last? They... <laughs> well, it depends on how long you use them for. And how, so if you how use intense. it all the time, yeah, yeah. it'll wear out and the yeah, dongle it'll won't it'll be wear worn, out. Yeah, you know, it'll just go flat. It'll be a worn out dongle. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so, like a punk band from the 80s. Worn out dongle. Where the worn so, out dongles. So you've got these two, and obviously, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people... My dongle fell. <laughs> 
<laughs> my dongle. Always, always wrap it before you before right. you tap it. Uh, end quote, Sony. So a lot of people, you know, there's legitimate use for this. If you have a Japanese game, you want to but play it. But only if you have Japanese games. Or could it be but, British games, anything that's going well, to be a different region? Because the region over there is different than ours. It they is. don't play the same DVDs. It is. So this is an NTSC North American console. Mm. Japan also uses NTSC. So they'll work. Theoretically, you could play a PAL region game from Europe on this, but it won't work on your television unless you have a because the, the the format yeah. mismatch. It'll look the colors will be messed up and the vertical sync will be completely broken. But you could play it. It just wouldn't. It, wouldn't it work. would just look like a seventies yeah. game that it I grew just up with. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. But so there's uses for playing import games, but. Herein lies the problem, piracy. So there's nothing stopping you from burning a copy of a PlayStation game. Uh, and, and consumer CD burners that you and I can buy for our computers, they can't burn region codes onto discs. That's a proprietary thing that Sony can do. But if you read the region code from a legitimate disc, then you pop it out and put in your burned copy and then close it, the system doesn't know any better. It'll play a burned game just fine. So that's why uh, Sony, in the second revision of this system, they took this port off of the back of it. So if you're looking to get involved in some, in some retro gaming, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this as somebody who, you know, if, if you want to play import games, I'm not condoning piracy or anything like that, uh, but if you... Why not? Well, <laughs> I mean, they're not making any money off these anymore, so who gives a shit? Why wouldn't you condone piracy? Oh, I could two old pirates. This is where the two old pirates. That's, but, you, but you told What's me. Uh, what, what, you told me it wasn't that kind of piracy. We didn't get to go to the swap meet, like in that. <laughs> but so I'm, I'm telling you all got, this. You, Trump is going to have a heart attack tonight. He's been <laughs> banned from Twitter. His that's like his favorite it's, thing in the world. It's a good day. It's a miracle. It's gonna be, didn't have to bring out my AK. It's a good day. Uh, but so uh, I bring that up because if you're uh, into retro gaming and you want to play some import games on real hardware, uh, this is something to look for. And then these things, these devices like Goldfinger, Game Hunter, or whatnot, these are a dime a dozen. You can find these online real cheap. Uh, in fact, I actually picked the Game Hunter. I picked it out of a bargain bin for a buck at a video game convention I was at a few years back. I mean, these things are everywhere. And uh, like I said, you just plug it into the back. You can probably find the documentation online so you know what to do. And what's also interesting is there's one other device that used the, the, the uh, parallel port, and that's the Game Shark. Uh, I'm sure you guys remember the Game Genie for the old Nintendo that you could use to get unlimited lives on Super Mario Brothers and uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and things like that. They made them for all the older older systems where you could input your own cheats and make Mario jump to the moon. I always played fair. You play <laughs> but you gotta have the power, the power. I love I love their I love the comic book ads for the game genie. Oh, millions of lives will be saved and stuff like that because you get unlimited lives. So the Game Shark plugs into the back just like everything else. And what the Game Shark does is this doesn't let you play import games or burn games. It just interrupts the boot process so that it acts as a middleman between the game's RAM and and the game being and the game as it's being read by the system. So if you wanted to play, for example, Siphon Filter and have unlimited ammunition, or if you want to play Spyro the Dragon and and have every level unlocked from the start, you could input your codes on your Game Shark. And then this actually, again, like all the other ones, has the plug that goes to your computer. You could plug it into your computer, download the codes into the Game Shark, so that when you turn it on, they're already there, and then you have your unlimited ammo, you got all your levels unlocked, all that stuff. So there actually were some devices used uh, that are made that for the for the parallel port that had some pretty interesting uses, like the Game Shark. And then there were some that. Um, people made for import games, but obviously piracy, this was a major problem. And ultimately, that's why Sony took that feature off the backs of their consoles. But um, when it comes to buying these systems, uh, retro game stores usually make no distinction between systems with and without a parallel port. So if you're gonna buy one, uh, take a look at the back side of it. See if it's got one of these. Because if you wanna play some Japanese games on real hardware, you're gonna need this. Uh, or you could install a mod chip, but that requires soldering and everything else. I'm not too good about that. I don't know about you. It's a lot easier to get one of these and get one of these. How much do these go for? It. Uh, it literally, there's a couple bucks online. Couple bucks. Couple bucks. And then old PS1s. How much would it take for you to get an imported Japanese game? 
Uh, not much. About 10 bucks, 15 bucks, depending so on the game. So 20 bucks, you're out, everything, shipping and everything, and you can yeah. play a game that you never would have been able, been able yeah. to play 25 and years ago. All you need, all you need is a real uh, American game first so that it reads the region code, and then you swap them out. So I thought that was something interesting I could share with you guys. Not a lot of people know about the uh, mysteries of the parallel I.O. port on the back of the PS1. Uh, Sony never released an official expansion for the PS1 that utilized this, which is why they saw fit to just cut it from later revisions of this console, because it wasn't being used by Sony, but it was being used by people who were trying to pirate games and things like that. So that's why they just took it off. Didn't stop the pirates, because then, like I said, they made mod chips that you just soldered directly to the board inside, but that's something I'm not getting into. <laughs> And what was it called? A golden what? This is called a this is called a gold finger. Uh, <laughs> they go by, and they go by many names. They're gold finger, game I was hunter. Just doing this so I could oh, just, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you, you 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 played me. You played me. But yeah, this, so so gold finger is just one name of many. So gold finger, game hunter. Uh, you could probably just call them uh, import players for PS One. So there's import and, so. player. What was the second one? Gold finger. No, no, no. Game shark. Game shark. And yeah. then what else? Gold finger. <laughs> and the, the game shark though this is purely for for cheating and giving you the advantage in games and making it so that tony hawk never falls off the skateboard and tony hawk pro skater you could do a lot of wacky stuff with a game shark and game genies for old things but they are different companies but that's a story for another day so hopefully you learn something cool about the playstation one and the adapters and and the adapters as well because not a lot of people know what is supposed to plug into the back right there and this and is actually what they It's a gold like. finger. It's a gold finger. There you go. The dongle that smiles back gold finger. So we, we hope that you enjoyed uh, Podcast 36 here where Vinny told us a little bit about the different... Uh, uh, dongles. Dongles <laughs> that you could go ahead and use on your old PlayStation to where you could play imported games legally that mm -hmm. you never would have been able to before. And some of the other things that we included in here about like five random facts, uh, you know, some of the funny things that we did. We just thought we'd put something out that has a little bit of fun with all that's going on in the world right now. So a little bit of tech, a little bit of fun, and we hope that you enjoyed this. Yep. Thank you very much. And as always, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, tell some friends about it. Leave some comments, things you'd like to see us talk about in the future, things you like, things you don't like. And uh, we, we read every comment. So thank you and very much. And we try to respond as soon as yes. we can. Yes. So peace in the new year. Love you. Let's get to 500. Cut. They just banned permanently Trump from Twitter. Permanently. But I'm not. I'm gonna edit that out of this. But he's banned permanently. It says Twitter permanently suspends Trump's account. Play celebration by Cool and the Gang, please. Damn. Gotcha. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Donald Trump has been put down. Permanently banned from Twitter, Donald Trump. What will he be able to do? How will he be able to talk to people? I have no idea, but God has blessed us today. The one good thing Twitter's ever done. Thank you, Jack Dorsey. This one's for you, baby. Come on! What am I gonna do, Melania? <laughs> Can't believe they banned me from Twitter. This is fake news. This is a travesty. I'm the I biggest thing to ever happen to Twitter. Millions and millions of followers. I had the most followers on Twitter. I have a bunch of twits following me. They're all twits. They love me. I had the best tweets. Tremendous, huge tweets. Who is it? It's your son, Don Jr. Get out of here. I want to talk to the people I love. <laughs> you waste of my seed. Until you're a half a tard Eric to quit eating the paste.